Well, guys, hopefully you can see this. Well, you're not going to believe how simple that was. All I had to do was right-click on my little speaker icon, uh, select Troubleshoot. Now, I've never used the Troubleshoot option uh, for practically anything on my computer before, and I've always widely regarded it as useless, but apparently running through that dialogue... Uh, I, I found a, uh, a little forum post. Apparently running through that dialogue, in spite of the fact that it, it ostensibly does nothing, fixes the problem. So let's start the new game that we were intending to, and uh, let's get going. Without further ado, we'll just go right into it. Sorry that took so long, guys. I know how frustrating that must have been for you all. It certainly was frustrating for me, but uh, hopefully we're there now. What kind of dog do you have, Aurelius? Oh, beautiful. They're lovely dogs. Tend to be very placid and friendly. Hey Sierra, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, yeah. Looking forward to actually being able to play this now. I think at least part of the reason that we had an issue there is because I had to change my screen yesterday. Uh, my monitor, my main monitor, uh, decided to give up the ghost, so I've had to use one of the other screens from uh, throughout my house. Now, one thing that I typically do late evening, right before I go to bed, I'll watch an episode of something, you know, it could be DS9, could be, God knows, could be Friends, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and right at the end of the day, uh, one of the things I usually do before I go to Ah, look at her. It's a scorcher. Oh, and I can hear you. That's great. Uh, but I usually watch an episode of something and I, I turn the sound onto my television so I can lie in bed and listen to it before I go to sleep. Uh, with this new TV, it doesn't seem to have recognised that I changed it back to uh, headset properly. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Game audio's a bit low for you guys, that's not a problem. I can sort that out. If I bring it up to about here... It'll turn the music up a little bit, but it should help somewhat. But let's just turn it up all the way. Let me know if that's still too low. I can always turn it up in the options. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bag. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again. Oh, have mother! You... you better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I just scratched myself is all. Oh, you haven't heard of this game, Sierra. Don't come You're in for a treat, my friend. Do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. 
<laughs> a rogue is precisely what I intend to be. Skyrim mixed with Mountain Blade. It really is a uh, semi-realistic medieval simulation, uh, which I think is just magnificent. A uh, I've... state you're in this morning. Hello, Mother. What on earth did you get up to last night? I was uh, whoring and wenching again. Uh, let's go with... I was dancing. Dancing! I went dancing. Dancing? With Bianca. Ah, that's ah. why you're tired. But you'll still have to work today. Well, I know, I, I know. I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Oh, it couldn't be anything to do with that. Uh, ooh, vitality or agility. I think we'll go up again in agility. Uh, be tempted by speech, but uh, let's no, go with archery. It's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? <laughs> Our Do says, I like how Henry is raised by a principled father, and we're going to turn rotten. Where did you get a bow, anyway? What's coming is enough to turn oh, anybody on. rotten. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. <laughs> All right, my friend's been over. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard oh. to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. That kind of guys. My friends aren't drunks. <laughs> I don't know if this is true. Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. Let's have an example. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. You're not a boy anymore, Henry. You're a man, and it's time to start acting like one. Yesterday you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. All right. Do you know what? She's my mum. I'm going to ask her if she needs help. Do you need me to do anything, ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I'm peckish. Get something to eat. I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Will do, mother. Thank you very much. Time to go. Right, is the game volume a still a little bit quiet for you guys? Because I can always turn it up just a smidge. I'll be having this cheese. I'll be having this cheese. Anything else? I'll be having that bread. Bread. A bit of lentil soup, get a bit more bread. That should keep me going. Anything in here? Nails for Teresa, I'll keep a hold of that. Bandages just in case, and some marigold jib jab. I could turn it up just a smidge. I'll do that, mate. Let's go to sound settings. We'll go to voice and cutscene volume. We'll turn that up so you can hear it. And the sound volume will up a little. Confirm? Yes, that should do the job for us. How does this sound? Oh, you can't really hear anything with this, can you? Anything worth nicking in here? Can't lockpick that right now, sadly. Because I don't have any lockpicks. What's my uh, nourishment at? It's 65 at the moment, so if I uh, eat from this pot... <laughs> it sounds horrible when he eats things. Loot! Loot is always the way forward. Right. Hello, Dad. I really like this guy's voice. The voice actor who does... Who plays this guy. I don't know who it is. But it's... All right, Dad. Settle down. Bloody hell. He nearly took my eye out with that thing. Excuse me. At least you're up. That's a start. 
Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Oh dear. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. I expect well, you're it will. a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. <laughs> sure, I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassel. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop hey. off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Alright then. Good old pa of mine. Old buddy old pal. Right. Uh, you can see at the top there, we've got several objectives that we need to go and get. Uh, now, I think the first one is this fella down here. Because he's got some bits and bobs that I need. First thing I'm going to do is... going to be having that axe. Excuse me, Kunesh. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Whatever I do, say, yeah, yeah. Money! My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. I don't know if that's true. Pay the lot or else. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. I'd like to see him try. Fuck off, you bastard, or your old man will be pulling those nails out of you. Oh, yeah? Okay. Sometimes you need uh, powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are together with your reputation can make a big difference as to how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as bloodstains on your clothes. You can also bribe people. In special cases, you can try Henry, any of Henry's other skills, e.g. horsemanship. It's not, the, it's not only the matter of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because sometimes it's not enough to just choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what Henry is going to say. All right, different approaches work on different people. Uh, get an idea of. But he quite likes me. Uh, pay you, drunkard! I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me, would you? You son of a whore! How, How dare, dare you? you? That's my mother you're talking about. Did your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. All right, come at me, bro. Right, we're going to have a little fight now. Uh, here is a tutorial on the fight. Uh, right is for, like, jabbing uh, or just a quick stab. And left is for uh, a slash or a hook. Uh, uh, left shift unlocks you uh, from the enemy that you're f uh, f uh, facing. Uh, F kicks them. Uh... Tab is a lock on opponent or switch to the next opponent. Q blocks. I've never tried using that. Uh, and we could choose our attack direction by moving the mouse around. All right then. Jab him. Oh, all right. Get kicked. Oh, he's, he's got a bit of... Now we can see that my stamina goes down on the bottom bar. Uh, 
Oh, he's taking yeah. it. He's taking it like a champ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Enough. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? It's not your life, though, is it? Good night, Kanesh. Actually, we will we'll grab his body. Is anybody here? Oh, good. That's a guard. That's a guard. That's a guard. Gonna open this door. Let's grab the body. In we go. Drop him in here. Oh, that's a bit of a bug. Shut the door. Right then. What have you got on you? Uh, all of your clothes. You said take anything I wanted. Well, that's exactly what I intend to do. Good here? No. How's my food situation looking? Uh, it's pretty good. I think I'll be over... I think I'll have overeaten if I eat from the pot, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah. Oh. Give me the hammer, give me the nails. Is there anything else not nailed down currently? You've eaten too much. You won't get hungry for much longer time now, but you'll be heavy-handed and clumsy. You can see that I've got uh, a little bit less uh, stamina now, which is a bit of a shame. Right, up we get. Like, do we like his clothes more than mine is the question. Got a green shirt at the moment. Uh, short Waffenrock here, which actually improves my visibility. You can see my visibility goes down to 52, whereas without it it's at 56. My conspicuousness goes down and my noise also surprisingly goes down. So we're going to use that. Patched hose, also pretty similar again. In fact, all of these things make me... A little bit less conspicuous uh, they make me le make less noise and the visibility on me goes down now that all of these things they're good for me and the reason that they're good for me is because it allows me to thieve a little bit more effectively so I'm happy with that let's just take a quick look around hello hello that's the charcoal burner Charisma goes down, that doesn't really matter to me. I don't need charisma. I'll be stealing what I need. Still looks like a pleb. Well... Good health to you. Let's talk trade. Uh, I'm gonna need ten lots of charcoal from you, my friend. And I will sell you... Ganesh's axe, Ganesh's hammer, is Ganesh's nails. Ganesh's nails. Uh, we're going to get 0.4 here. The trader only has 20 uh, in total. So let's see if we can get rid of some of the bits and bobs that we... Uh, we no longer need our red scarf, our white olive hose, or our old boots. I'm going to get 15.7 so far, which is... Uh, that's just about where we want to be. Uh, evidently, we don't want to sell the marigold deco decoction. Decoction, yeah. Um... So that's fine. I think we should check our basket. All looks pretty good. Uh, I'd like to get the full 20 out of him. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's haggle. I'd like to discuss the price. Aye. Right, so here's a little tutorial on haggling. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay uh, with W and S and confirm with E. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and will uh, wait for your response. So uh, here you can see, I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory. Nothing to be concerned about there. So let's close this. See, I want the full 20. I don't think that's likely to happen, but uh, let's see if we can get it out of him. 
Since it's you. You won't convince me with that. No? Alright, so he wants... Ooh. He's pretty close. He's pretty close to accepting. You can see on the right-hand side there. So let's see if we can get 18 out of him. Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. That's what I'm liking. Thank you, Tinkle Fairy. Hey, Pip. Do you want to learn something? No. I don't think so. Thanks. Suit yourself. I'd Hail like to, to the learn. hero. He's got you pretty cool clothes. About learning the craft of warfaring. He's got pretty cool clothes. Excuse me, combat, combat master. Very little, little. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except yeah, down the bottom right hand side, you get a uh, you get like a smiley Your face. Happy and the fuller that bar is, the closer he is to accepting your offer. At least, so far, I understand. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong uh -oh. here. I want to live and see the world. <laughs> the world's a dangerous place, and I need to know. I think he may be aware that I've stolen his clothes. Like he's just—he's just walked up behind happens, me. Today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yeah, let's go and do this. Yes. Let's see if he wants to start a fight with me. Because if he does, right. I'll knock him out. Wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. That's right. Fuck off. <laughs> right, we're going to meet him on the sheepfold for... It's pretty damn cool, doesn't he? I wonder if I might be in a position to knock him out after our duel. I think that's highly speculative of me. How long do I intend to stream for? As always, it has to be a fairly brief stream. Uh, as everyone knows, during the week I have to get up at 5am uh, every day, so... Uh, Ideally, I didn't want to stream past 10. However, uh, I do recognise that we were a little bit late in starting the stream uh, because I couldn't make my computer go. So I think we'll probably stream until half 10. We will have a little break in between times, of course. God, look at all that up there. What's going on up there? Oh, these are just smokes. Okay, smokes. It's just smoke from houses, it's not a concern. Hello. Let's have a little bit of a combat. Jib jab. I know he's got a sword, but so, I've got smarts. Started? We can. Yeah, let's we get can. started. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. That sounds like a fantastic idea. I can't remember any of it though, I'm afraid. Hello, sir. Very well. Okay. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Not a problem, my friend. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. I will. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. I'm Never trying to. Repeat yourself. Just let me do it. <laughs> Now you're getting it. Ah. 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 The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Good. Ah. Now you're good. Oh, he didn't like that. I was right in his knob. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. Yeah. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. Right. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. I will. All right. Very good. Very good. All right, okay, good, good. All right, that's enough. Am I in a position to be... I don't have any saviour snatch. See, what I'd like to do is I'd like to come up behind him and have a go at knocking him out. a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learnt in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. 
looks like I'm not allowed to knock this guy out, so... Well, that takes my option away from me. That's probably a good thing, because I think he'd turn around and butt me. There's something going on over here that I wasn't aware of, so let's go and take a look. Oh, that's, uh, that's going to get the blade itself. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go and get the blade. Hello, boys. God be with you. And with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Excellent stuff. Hey, watch it. You watch it. Folk these days. <laughs> right. Let's just have a little, little look around town. See what we can do. Now, one thing that we don't have at present is we don't have a lockpick. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Because it means we're not going to be able to get into any of the juicy hordes around here. just have a look around, shall we? Well, it looks like a little bit of a vagabond. Usual or something else? Hmm. I'll take this. Dark at home? A torch will help. No, thanks. Fields like fallow. Here's a hoe. Just give myself a little wash in the trough, you know. Yes, I, I could. I could have done. I could have done. That is, that is something that would have been a possibility. Oh, oh no! It needs a lockpick. Stop paying me! Just having a look around, mate. Don't don't you worry about it. Hey, why don't you come over here, mate? Come on. Hey, what's in here? Look! Oh, look! Hello! Come on, in you come. Hey! How you doing? What's it to be? What do you mean? Oh. Oh. Hey, what are you playing at here? No, nothing, nothing. Hmm. What was that? This is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> right, come on. Are you looking for something? <laughs> I 
one of those. Yeah. Right, time to go. Right, so let's see what we got. Uh, we've got a koi fear. Let's see what that does. It makes us a little bit less conspicuous and gives us some head armor. And I looked like an absolute pleb wearing it. Yep, I'll take that. Doop -de -doo. Possibly a me, be me, governor. I didn't see a thing, governor. Sorry, governor. Right, we now need to work out where this young lady lives. Ooh. Beige scarf here, brown felt hat. Yeah, I'll take a bit of that. Take his door key, I'll take his trunk key. That should do me. Where's his trunk? Where's his trunk? Here it is. Take these, Groshan. Hey. Hello. Be a bit more careful. Yeah, my apologies for that. That would take a lockpick. Over we go. Oh, we can go in here. Just shut this behind us. That takes a lockpick. Go in here. All right. Nothing to be nothing to be stolen from here. They're not corpses, Viking. I'm not killing these people. I'm just knocking them out. This is a midden pile. Yeah, nothing of any great interest here. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if uh, my new felt hat that makes more noise somehow. Neither of those are any good. I thought they might be good for my stealthy, uh, stealthy goodness. Have I already been in here? I've been caught. I've been caught Robin. Quick, get out of here. Right, so here's what we're going to do. I think that was a guard going that way. Let's get out of here. God be with me indeed. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Hi. Who's there? Right, the guard doesn't seem so bothered that he's running for me. So, fingers crossed we're going to get away from that with that with this one. Good God, go! I'm sorry. You can't be I've been playing Knocky Outy. It's a very valid game in the Middle Ages. Right, story time. Sigismund has done only what he had. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope God be with is you, opposed Henry. to your king. I'm with you, so Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches spouting shit. What? 
Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about? Scared the chicken. Austrians. Now I'll have to knock you out. And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped it like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Well, Deutsch has gone too far. Seems that there's a civil war Wenceslas occurring. is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Ooh. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too white, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? <laughs> Fritz you looks like an absolute floor? lunatic. Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. Oh. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? I think I see where you're going with this. Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some turns all day. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on, doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. It is our duty to, to defend uh, the honor of uh, our king by slinging uh, turds at somebody's house. Why not? Stab him like a pig. I can't do that, Draconian. Uh, Zala's asking, has anyone done the F a Friend Indeed side quest? Uh, needs a little bit of help with it. I can't remember doing that one. Uh, does anybody else have any suggestions for the Friend Indeed side quest? I'm, I'm going to sling some poo. Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Right then. Come on, lads. Let's see if that. Uh... Here we are. Hey. He's not. He's not chasing me. We're okay. What's going on over here? That's a nicely whitewashed house, isn't it? All right, lads. going on here? Hi right, Matthew, you seem to be the ringleader, let's talk to you. So are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. Which is a bit dim. problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Okay, I'm the clever one. Great. I'm also in trouble with the law, but you know. Excuse me, missus. What do you want, lad? Uh, your husband's making trouble. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh... Well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard. Pickpocketing's really quite hard in this Some game. You could just knock him out and I take thought. the scarf. God almighty, the fool. And just do it Next when he's alone somewhere. About the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Right, time for some turd slinging. You ready, lads? It's slingy turdy time. I'm not just any Cardassian. 
What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king! Uh Just going to uh, take a quick look. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! <laughs> Eat shit, doshes! You bastards! Oh, what hello. the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Repainting your house. Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. Uh -huh. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! Let's make those smites off your faces! <laughs> oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> the faces have gone a bit weird. Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Oh god. It's fighty fighty time. I'm gonna get let them get embroiled. Oh, this guy wants to. <laughs> Oh, right then, chops. That's it. Alright, he's given up. Who's next? Oh, we've got to run. Now's not the best time for me to be running. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't think I took any damage there, surprisingly. We're okay. Woo! Whoop! <laughs> Who the hell was that? <laughs> that was so good. Alright, lads. What the hell? Look, it's not my fault that you're running at minus three miles an hour. Minus three miles an hour, is it? Right, it's the Rosers! <laughs> oh shit, we've been rumbled! <laughs> Looks like we're not being chased, which is good times. Didn't take any damage, we're not being chased. We've slung a load of shit at somebody's house. Oh. Alright, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here. It's going to look inconspicuous. Do, do, do. Didn't rob anyone. Didn't rob anyone. That's all for today. Some change for you. Well, Come oh, here, I think I'll just surrender. Shit, he found me. I've been rumbled! Let's just see how much trouble we're in. I got you, you bastard. Who the hell do you think you are? You injured someone. Did I? Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. That's a lot of coin. We're gonna flee. Hey, you! Oh! Sorry. What? <laughs> Where could he have vanished to? He must be here somewhere. He must be here somewhere while looking at me. Bring it on! Oh fuck, he's caught me. Ow. Got weak at the knees, have you? Sorry, officer. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from him.
he doesn't look like he's on me anymore. Just hide here for a minute. What are you up to here? Shush, mother! 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 You know what I will do? Is there any way I could have a little nap in here? No, I don't think there is. Right. I'm going to go and talk to our mates. But we've somehow got to get to the pub. Shit. What's going on there? Nothing, mate. <laughs> Can't wait to hear what my father says about this. Yeah. Bloody hell. Okay, I think I'm alright for a couple of minutes. Playing at anything, I'm trying to avoid the catch pole. I need to talk to me, mate. <laughs> Lads! <laughs> Something terrible's occurred. I've been caught pilfering. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. It's a good thing your Hanko warned us. Well-behaved girl like that. I'm surprised she didn't call the catchpole. She must have seen Matthias. What do you mean? Because he fancies her. And I think maybe she likes the look of him, too. Hey, <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm not going to get anything more out of those. So let's go back into sneaky, be sneaky breaky mode. And the last thing we've got to do is we've got to get down the pub without the without the rosas catching wind of us. Right. The pub's just. To you? Uh, I got in a little bit of a scrap with the law. What do you think you're doing? I fought the law I and I won. Hey, That's it. Who's there? Oh shit! What are you doing there? Nothing. Are there any rosas in here? Oh, yes, Bianca. Bianca, <laughs> Bianca, talk to me. Hello, my lover. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? I bought this hat just for you. You do. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honoured as any simple maid can be. And, apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Where's the booty booty booty? Uh, let's talk about trade for a minute. What can I sell here? Oh, it's, only, it's only food, okay. But no, 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 come back, come back, come back! Tidy yourself up a bit. What do you mean tidy myself up a bit? I look great. Uh, I'd like a picture for Who father, please. Father. A picture as usual. Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. 
Thank you, darling. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. Hey, up. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak. A little bit of a double entendre going on here. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? Oh, nothing. He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Vagina! So, now what would that be? Your favourite, Savior Schnapps. Uh, really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. <laughs> well, thank you very much, my darling. Uh, engage sneak mode. Sneak mode engaged. I can't stop right where I am. I've got to run. I've got. I've got to get my dad this picture while it's cold. I think I might have just got away with that. Daddy, don't let them take me away, Daddy! <laughs> Are those things you wanted? Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Uh, not yet. Not yet. And I want to ask what he did in Kutenberg. Get a move on. No, I don't. Daddy! What did you actually do in Kuttenberg? Oh, all sorts. You had to be able to put your hand to anything if you wanted to make a living. But I was never far from iron. I'd like to see Kuttenberg sometime. I'll take you there one day, never fear. It's a beautiful city. But in the end, you'll learn the best places here by the Sasso. We've kind nobles, fertile land, plenty of everything. And do you know Sir Radzik? So if you heard a bunch of rumbling there, I had to move my mic around. Sure long enough. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I Let's forge, baby. The hilt and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassal did for us. Yes, let's. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. I've noticed that in these cutscenes I'm not wearing the correct clothing. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. Um... I'm not sure. <coughs> really? Uh-oh. Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. Ooh, if that's the worst thing you've heard about me, I'm doing all right. Earlier. And it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologise to him. 
I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. I'm sorry. I won't be naughty again. I've learned the error of my ways. I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. No, no, I'm sure we so won't. you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. Yes, turn into. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Hard not to ready. like him, isn't it? Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Right. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Good stuff. Throw my own father in the fire. In fact, I quite like him. What a Lord Draconian. Not Abbot, well. Why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. All right. Looking good. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Uh, no, they're not, Dad. I've got them on my person. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Bring those nails Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep Shut you. Up, Dad. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, booty, 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 booty. Oh. Fine lass, eh? Hmm. Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. Hmm. 
<laughs> nice, nice. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Then try it. Hey, Meme. Uh, what are you finding broken about the game, my friend? You no longer have the ability to walk. That's unfortunate. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade. <laughs> Look at that fucking bowl cut. Sir. Perhaps. But who knows? What the future holds. I think that's how my dad cut my hair when I was a kid. <laughs> I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine. Do you want to tell me about the uh, circumstances calls, of the uh, uh, of the glitch that you found me? Is it possible that you've, you're simply carrying too much Learn from your uh, and as a result you can't run? He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure or have you accidentally not tapped not caps lock, uh, which has stuck you in walking? Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor. Oh, you can't walk at all. That's interesting. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Oh, it's fixed. Ah, oh, great. Great to hear, my friend. Could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Hey, up. What's going on here? A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Hello. Oh my, that is uh, quite an army. Oh, good lord. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, and what about you? Do not go into that town. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind you. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Oh, my lord. Oh, good God.
probably solves the problem of the guards chasing me. Come on. Oh my god, is a beast! He's an absolute beast! Go on, Dad! He's just leathered about six people. Seven? Oh. Jesus, why would they do that to somebody's div- Oh my god. We gotta go. Looks like I'm still wanted. going on here. Let's not worry about that. Oi! Oh, time to go. This one looks like a good one. <laughs> right, we're off. Just punch one in the back of the head. Doesn't look like they're following. I think we're okay. Oh, they're everywhere. Look at them coming down the hill behind. Oh, my lord. Oh, good gravy. Ah, me peg. We gotta get out of here. Well, let's go. We're bleeding, which is something to be aware of. And they're right behind us. Oh God, they're everywhere. Let's barrel this guy. 
Maybe I saved a life. Left. Talmor gets to the left along the stream. Oh, I'm gonna go left. Still being followed. Three of them. Run for it! God, they're right on top of me. Time to go. Let's go faster. Oh, good lord. Keep going. Run for it. Warn the others. They tore it scallet. Oh, they're still right on me, bum. Run! Oh god, I'm sorry. Whoop! Did you hear that arrow just go whizzing past me? Again with another arrow. Oh, we got there. Got away with it, guys. Quickly, we're closing the gate. Uh, Meme says, I don't like how uh, long swords are strength weapons and arming swords and sabers are agility weapons. <laughs> mm. I can understand why you might think that, but it does stand to reason. Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. Typically, an arming sword uh, well would be a one-handed weapon, and a saber could either be one or two-handed, depending on its bow. usage. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage?
This is something I picked up on the other day. 99% of the textures in game look Sir, really, really good. Uh, very attractive, world. very detailed. Tell me, boy, but the dogs, what they exactly look horrific. Happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Skalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Well, here we are. Our parents have been killed by merciless, bloodthirsty bastards and uh, took an arrow in the leg to the bargain. It is less than ideal. I'm just going to have a quick look around. Is there anything worth uh, borrowing here? Oh, wow. What's going on with me? Oh, go to the other end of the corridor. You just never know, do you? This little chapel, isn't it beautiful? I think I could pick up silver goblets and things. What the hell? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Is quite clear. Hey, you've no business here. Clear off, or you'll be sorry. Hey, who there? Surrender. You'll have to answer for your lawbreaking. Ah. 
Are you going to give yourself up, or do you want to do this the hard way? Oh God! I didn't know. I'm sorry. It was an accident. That fella did not want to be knocked out. <laughs> God, I hope I got a little save there. Did I? Yeah, of course I did. Hello, hello. Huh? Oh, I apologise. I'm not supposed you to be in here. You didn't forget to check the supplies like I told you yesterday. No, sir. I checked, and it seems everything is in order. All right. Hello, Mrs. Time. There's got to be a way that I can knock him out. What in God's name is he up to? Got one. Christ almighty. Are you insane? Stop that now. Wasn't me. Wasn't me, wasn't me, officer. Hey, you. Halt. Surrender. You're under no. arrest for breaking the law. Stop. <laughs> for God's sake, what are you doing? Caught you. Oh, now you'll pay down. for all your crimes. <laughs> What? Don't pretend you don't know what's what, you whore son. Here you are, wandering the land with a corpse on your back, getting up to all sorts of no good. If it was up to me... Enough. What impertinence is this? If that's how you want... Surrender! Hey, you. Stop Just right committed a crime are. and I'm arresting you! Hey you! Don't Lost your wind! Muscle. Don't move a finger! Surrender! You'll have to answer! Oh god, robots here! I'm Look, lads! I'm warning you. Give yourself up! Let me have a little think I about won't it. won't repeat it again! <laughs> You call that combat? Hey! Right, I'm gonna have to let these lads kill me. <laughs> I can do this. I'll do it at night. I'll, I'll knock someone out at night. It'll be fine. What do you mean, oh, for fuck's sakes? Look, I'm just... I'm utilising... my sneaky, sneaky skills to be a bastard. To go. Oh, thank you. What? Sir Divish doesn't want... Great. Go then, you fuck... <laughs> I can't believe I got away with it. I cannot believe I just got away with it. Oh my god. The guy upstairs is still knocked out. I'm stealing all of his shit. You're free to go. <laughs> oh no. You're free to go. Again? What? Sir Divin. Great. Go then. Hey. I appear to be bleeding quite profusely. We'll deal with that in a minute. I want to see if, uh, oh, he's conscious again. Okay, not, not a problem.
There you go. We're no longer we're no longer bleeding. Much. Who's this then? Uh, oh, like, God damn it! My stomach hurts. Look, I know, I know. What right. are you doing? What? I hear you came from Scalids today. Yes, I came from Scalids entirely to defend you. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's. Who do I need to speak to? Can I have a nap first? I'm almost certainly going to die if I don't. I can't delay, there's no time to lose. Oh, something terrible is happening to me. Hello, Sir Robot. <laughs> old buddy, old pal. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. Ah, uh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady on Hello, missus. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? I'm hungry like a wolf. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank oh, you. magnificent, yes. I'll take all of that. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Not yet, Scorpion. Not yet. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. All right, Mr. Prim and Proper. Right then, better get some grub. What are you doing? I'm trying to eat from the pot, bloody hell, woman. Whoop! Right, let's take a little bit of roast duck. Still midway through starving to death. This. Grab the wine. Food. Eat the roast duck. Nourishments 51, 77, 103. Fat bastard. Let's just see what this buff is. Player buffs. I'm a released prisoner, so what does this do? Your stay in jail left you malnourished and in an overall weak condition. Your strength, agility, and vitality are longer. The longer you've been in jail, or the worse are the penalties. Uh, it looks like a buggered. Right, so we do have a couple of level ups. Uh, we've got Gravedigger or Stronghold. Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost any stamina. I think that's probably a very good idea for me. Uh, <laughs> main level, uh, we've got a few things here. We've got uh, Night Rider. Uh, your stamina will generate regenerate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. We've got Scout. Slightly increases the sight uh, distance of fast travel and also the chances of evading by 10%. Um, the worse the bed, the better you sleep. And ascetic, which is uh, you'll last thirty percent longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be twenty percent worse. We'll take ascetic because it's very easy to find food. Anything else I should be aware of? Nothing there. Nothing else is leveled up. Okay, so we can chill now. 
Bloody hell. I definitely need to go to sleep. Hello, hello. Mm. Yes, yes. I am in shit state. I'm good, Scorpion. I'm good. What better than Hal here? Alright, let's sleep. Uh, we'll sleep through till tomorrow morning, I think. We won't get to sleep until tomorrow morning, admittedly, because some sausage will wake us up, but there we are. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes? Hello? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. I'm starting to like this girl. It's just what you need to help you sleep. Oh, I could think of something um, better. Thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. I reckon she's into me. worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. I think that's exactly what she wants, Scorpion. Scorpion. Happy birthday, by the way, my friend. Uh, let's tell the story of the raid, because be right, I just, you know, I want to go for the sympathy points what. here. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town. Do you know what? We'll... She's obviously the emotional type, so... We'll talk about our sweetheart. I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Alright lads, let's behave in the chat. Uh, me and father talked father about and life. I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town, which was soon to meet the same fate. God have mercy. And then death descended on Scalitz. Happy birthday, buddy. I looked towards the tavern and saw a group of humans chasing down my Bianca, and murdering her for sport. There was nothing I could do to help her. You mustn't blame yourself. She's with the Lord now. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. 
I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I look magnificent with this hat on. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, I haven't got my awesome hat on anymore. Oh boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and... All of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Where's the stay button? I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Well, well. All right, maybe I'm going to get some bleeding sleep now.
I learned women in the Middle Ages. That's nice. Oh, good lord. Dreamscape time. Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. I'm still not feeling very well. A bucket somewhere so I can wash myself off. I must look like holy hell. Hey, oh. Probably a bit of an improvement. Get to the battlements. Who this? Is the battlements? Oh, the lockpick. Just to get up there. Starting to suspect that this isn't the right way. Excuse me, sir. So how do I get to the battlement, sir? <laughs> See what we got. <laughs> Silent shoes sounds quite useful. Yeah, that makes me less conspicuous. What about that grey tunic? A bit more noise on the grey tunic. We're taking this stupid out. I can't cope with it. What are you doing here? Get lost or you'll have me to reckon with. But I'm sorry. I think I've just hurt myself again. How the bloody hell do I get to the pissing battlements? Oh, maybe it's over here. Here we go. Got it, got it, got it. Anyway, do you think Sigismund would catch up with us in the forest? The best thing would be to join forces with Scarlet's and fight against the Prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. It's going down, robot. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scallops. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivis sent to Scallops to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. 
It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We don't need <coughs> to you Excuse today. Me. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. But stop knocking I everyone am sorry out. about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Move out! Anywhere, people! Move out! Don't be a right now. Powerful stuff. Powerful stuff. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. Damn. What is it? What? What the hell are you? Let's doing? have a chat with Robard. I think once we got back to bed, we'll probably call the stream there. What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Be a bit more careful. What the hell?
Might be a mistake. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle! I didn't work out. I've got you, you bastard. Well, you. That's too. Well, it's a. I'm not just a false. Jessian. Jail, it is. Just the echo. <laughs> Objective failed. Keep watching the battlements. Shit. Come on, quick! What? What? There's an arc. All right, to the outer. Hmm. I'm so badly injured. I lost all the shite that I stole. Oh no! <laughs> I haven't got any pants. I'll have to steal some. I've still got the cash. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> The bastard who let the attack at Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed 
even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. That silent army in the back is so intimidating. I really like Divish. Talk to Robard and then try and get some sleep. Might have to do a little what do bit. What you of... want? What happened in Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me. Because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas. Wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? So he could loot it? Correct. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it? Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said that they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Indeed. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. So, Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Okay. Right. 
run ourselves back to the castle, have a good sleep. It's, it's fairly evident that we've just been roughed up to all hell. And then we'll have a think about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. I think if the game saves here, then that's going to be the end of this. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll give ourselves the 12 hours. It'll be getting towards night then, and then we can really have a good think about exactly how we can go about continuing to be a bit of a brigand. I'm not sure why we're awake again. Oh, apparently we can't delay. No time to lose. More food in the pot? some bread. Be a bit more careful. Here. visors on the helmets. I seen them all right. And you know what I heard from the merchant who heard it from that man who was fighting them at Gutenberg? What? They say they can slice a cow or a man in two halves from top to bottom with one top of his Well, oh, it looks like there's a cooking pot up there. I can eat some food. around here. Who's this then? Hello? Good day to you. I need to get... My mother and father... What am I supposed... I need to get some Talmberg armor, basically. This guy, Votova, I suspect he's gonna have what I need. Good health to you. Hello, let's trade. trade? If you've got the coin. Now I do think I do have some coin. Yeah, I've got 78. But if I See if I can sell anything, if I've got anything worth. Get rid of the axe. Um, base scarf can go, brown hat can go. That can also go. Keep a hold of the Savior Schnapps. That looks pretty good. Let's check the basket. Let's haggle. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that price down just a smidge. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? I'd like it to be 62. Since it's you. Calm down. Just a little more and we have a deal. Huh? Oh yeah, he... he go on. Finally, a reasonable... Yeah. Sign. 
Good stuff. Now I've got some lockpicks as and when we need them. So let's see if we can make use of those in a reasonable way. Are you serious? Deadly serious, sir. Try not to get caught. Let's just take everything. <laughs> Fashionable red hose. Takes our visibility down, surprisingly. Ooh, this one. Green ne uh, nobleman's hose. Even better. Old boots. Plate pauldrons isn't much good to us. What about an undershirt? That's for ladies. Okay. Okay. What's going on in here? That's hard. Very hard. I'm not going to get through either of those. That's also very hard. Okay. see me at the moment. I don't like it. Okay, we've managed to unlock this. Seemed pretty good. Shields with crest, fight clubs, bows. There we go. I am extremely over encumbered, but I, hopefully I can sell some of this, uh, some of this clobber. another level down. See if there's anything down here. Nothing obvious here. 
Go down once more. Good night, Scorpion. You sleep well. Nothing more to steal. Nothing more to steal. chest at the end of the row is just it's trying and we know how finicky they get over there so we won't go that way let's just take a look at the uh, the new armor that we've got these gloves are good for us Gonna take needle. I don't think we want a mace. Everything else we've already got. We'll just grab it briefly. We can always lob it on the floor if we need to. How shattered we are. We barely move. Oh But as I say, if we can sell it to this uh this fella outside the castle. Because he looks like a bit of a thieving goit then perhaps that's going to be worth our time. Right, bud. Suppose you'll take on stolen goods, will you? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. <laughs> hey, he doesn't mind buying the stolen stuff. Keep the black ball point. As a result, a light padded armor, but one of those needs to go. Fashionable red hose can go, green merchant's hat. One of bassinets can go. One of the can go. He's only got 76. Something I'm very... Uh, this terrible coif we've got to go. We'll keep the hose. With the green shirt. I don't really want the mace. Old boots can go. 
Against my better judgment, the pauldrons can go. Uh, one of the shields can go. Spike club can go. These all need more strength than I've got right now. Shirt can... Okay, so, let's see what we can buy now. It's going to be good for us to take as many lockpicks as we can. How much do you want for that? 130. You know what? Alright, we'll take the we'll take the treasure map. 79 uh Savior Schnapps is ridiculous. I'm not willing to So don't drive me up. Don't wanna be bothered haggling haggling. That's stolen! What are you trying on me? Get the hell Ah, looks like he doesn't want to buy all the uh, shit. You lied to me, Vatova. Well, fair enough then. Sadly, there's no easy way for us to get Still overweight. May as well wear the plate. Aldrin. I pretty much look like a soldier here. I'm gonna go and get the horse. I know I, I probably could just hop out the castle, but... This one's more fun, isn't it, this way? I need to get out. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah. There we go. Right. Open the gate. I think I've actually leveled up one of my skills. Can't remember what it was. Ah, stealth. What do we have? Take. Debonair, daring debonair, after committing a crime, you get a plus one bonus on strength and vitality until you're caught or leave the crime scene. Aha! Get to Skelet, which is down this way, I believe. I 
your eyes open for the save uh, icon, guys. <clears throat> as soon as it sa- oh. As soon as it saves, I do want to head off for the night. It's getting towards 11, I've got to be up at 5. The math doesn't look good. Me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. I do have stats, but I don't want to use it. I'm just hoping the automatic save button happens. Looks like they've already gone. Answer to my prayer. You're going to cry now. Might. No surrender. We finish what we started. You beast. Very nice. Looks like I'm over encumbered again. Pick some of this male stuff off.
go. I look like a thief, but... Oh, hang on, I've still got too much stuff on me. Probably that seeks. Still got too much stuff. Of course I have. Because why wouldn't I have, you know? Look at that. Hey, Fiddy Cal. I can see that it's saved now. Good. survivors are there sweet Jesus it's the charcoal burner see that there's a guy over here looting bodies we're gonna have to try and get this guy I don't know if we're gonna be able to because theoretically he's gonna have more stamina than me being that I'm injured Let you go, but it'll cost you. Very well. Yeah! I'll take that dagger and your linen hood and your green tunic. Thank you. Right, that has got to be it. I absolutely have to stop playing the game now. I think it's got... We've had mixed results this evening about being a devious bastard. Overall, I think it's been... Pretty fun. A different... Uh, certainly a different type of gameplay. But most of it running away from random people. Uh, but... I do think we can make a go of it. Uh, if I'm more methodical, more careful... Uh, and I get the right gear and skills, then I do think I can be quite... Yes, I, I'm aware that it's safe. Uh, I do think I can get myself to be quite a uh, an impressive stealth character. It's just a matter of finding the right stats, the right equipment, 
and uh, we'll see if we can make a go of it. I will be streaming again on Wednesday. I think we'll be streaming the same game somehow. But for the time being, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you have a lovely evening, and I will see you in the next stream.